In the middle of the 17th century, the Cossacks under Kemelnitsky rose up against the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. Initially, they formed an alliance with the Russians, and along with Sweden, they devastated Poland. However, when Russia signed a truce with Poland, the Cossacks were soon defeated, and Kemelnitsky died in 1657. Ten years of civil war followed in which the Cossacks fought one another over who to ally with. Meanwhile, the Russians and Polish signed a treaty, dividing the Cossacks' lands along the Dnieper River. Angered by this, Doroshenko tried to unite the region again in 1665, but as he invaded the left bank of Ruthenia, Sukhovy seized power on the right bank and accepted Crimean suzerainty. So Doroshenko had to invade the right bank again, and left Monohorizhny to govern over the left bank, but he too broke free and accepted Russian influence. So with his lands divided, Doroshenko formed an alliance with the Ottoman Empire, who the Crimeans were a vassal of. So the Ottomans forced the Crimeans to break relations with Sukhovy, allowing Doroshenko to defeat him in 1669. Sukhovy's remaining forces were taken over by Konenko, who himself was pro-Polish, and the Khan of Crimea was also quite pro-Polish, so refused to attack. So the Ottomans just removed the Khan from power in 1671, and installed Selim Garay as the new Khan, and he began to raid the Commonwealth. However, these raids were soon stopped by Jan Sobieski, so Selim called on the Ottomans for help, and tens of thousands of Crimeans and Ottomans invaded Poland in August 1672. Meanwhile in Poland, King John II Casimir began to restrict religious freedoms and privileges, angering the Lipka Tatars. These Tatars had settled in Lithuania centuries earlier, and while often serving in the army, had remained Muslim. So when King John withheld their wages before abdicating, they rebelled and joined Doroshenko in besieging Lviv, while other forces marched as far north as Jaslo. But the new King of Poland, Michael I, had just won a contentious royal election, and lacked the support of many nobles, so they vetoed his proposals to raise taxes and therefore a large army. He was therefore unable to fight back, and was forced to sign the Peace of Buxas, ceding a great deal of land in the south, and agreeing to pay an annual tribute to the Ottomans, essentially becoming an Ottoman fief. But the nobility did not ratify this treaty, and finally agreed to raise an army, which Jan Sobieski marched south and defeated the Ottomans at Koten. This forced the Ottomans to withdraw from Poland, and they began to retreat from Ruthenia and back into Moldavia. But when Michael I died, Jan Sobieski was elected the new king, and the nobility once again refused to raise the funds required to advance further south, and the now unpaid soldiers began to desert. But Doroshenko also began to lose the support of many high-ranking Cossacks due to his alliance with Muslims. So, they elected Ivan Samoylojevich as the new ruler of the Cossacks in 1674. He was pro-Russian and had recently taken power of the left bank, but Doroshenko did not step down, so the Russians and Samoylojevich unsuccessfully attacked his capital of Chirin. Meanwhile, Jan Sobieski used this opportunity to seize towns like Bratslav, Moglev and Bar, but the Ottomans retaliated in 1675 and sent thousands of troops to Lviv, but were driven back by a far smaller Polish force. The Ottomans also besieged Trembovle in late September 1675, but the small garrison of around 80 soldiers held out until Jan Sobieski relieved them in October. The following summer, the Ottomans invaded again, but at Zeravno they were once again defeated by a smaller Polish force. So Doroshenko had become disillusioned with his alliance with the Turks and Crimeans, whose unsuccessful wars had left his region in ruins. So when Samoylojevic once again attacked his capital in 1676, he finally resigned his post. However, the Ottomans were unwilling to surrender the region, so appointed Yuri Kemelnitsky, the son of the famous rebel leader, as the new ruler in the capital. This, however, just angered the Russians, and they went to war against the Ottomans that year. So the Ottomans made peace with Poland, handing back some territory, while the war with Russia dragged on for a few more years. 